What's up guys, it's me AG and we are here at the Pakuranga Night Market which is one of the many night markets that operate around Auckland City. Auckland is one of the most diverse places in the entire world and night markets are one of the best places to experience that diversity in cuisine. I'm so excited, I'm very hungry. So we're just gonna check out what the Pakuranga Night Market has for us today. Let's eat and let's go. So it's incredibly busy here. There's so many people. Such a huge variety of stalls. You got like Malaysian, Filipino, Japanese, Chinese. Uh, you, you've got you've got the whole lot. Um, we're just gonna look around, see what's good. It smells heavenly. It smells heavenly. Like the car park is just trapping all the fumes into one glorious mishmash of smells. We're gonna have a look around. Let's go. So first off, you know, we had to do it. We had to get some Filipino food, my favorite food in the world. We hit up um, Elegance Catering Services. For, we got we got quite a few, we got quite a lot. We got like five items. It's quite a lot for our first stop, but I'm sure we'll manage. Let's eat. All right, first bite, we're just gonna have a bite of this. It looks like a chonky pork barbecue, a classic street food in the Philippines. Let's taste. Oh. Mm. Gonna have some rice as well with it. Oh, yeah. mm. The pork is pretty chunky and flavorful. It's got that nice grilled char component. All I'm missing is some vinegar, which is a classic combo, but that's okay. Paired it with the rice, it's perfect. Really good Filipino street food. So traditionally with barbecue, you always put the fatty bit in the end. It's gonna be a nice bite, I'm sure. Ah. Fatty, porky, charred goodness, perfection. Okay, so we also got laing. Laing is basically like dry taro leaves with like a coconut uh, like stew. We, there's also some chilies and pork belly in here just to like add some flavor. So I'm gonna give that a taste. It's also one of my favorite underrated Filipino dishes. It's super good. I hope this is too. Up some classic Filipino lechon kawale, some fried pork belly for you. Sadly, we do not have our classic pangkamas sauce, which is our uh, our liver sauce, which is very popular and a classic combo with this. But we'll make do with what we have. It looks so fatty and just it looks glorious, guys. That's all. That's all I can describe it as. Let's have some rice. It's just one of those foods that that'll always bring a smile to your face. So porky, fatty, the skin is really crispy. Just great comfort food. Oh, delicious. Next stop is some ginataang langka, which basically translates to jackfruit cooked in a coconut sauce. It looks really velvety and nice. I'm gonna dig in. Get some rice with that jackfruit. That coconut sauce is just so velvety and coconutty, obviously. It's uh, just so flavorful. The langka is like it's like it's like a hard mushroom in in texture, but it's really nice. It's quite neutral in its flavor, but the sauce itself is so flavorful. It's just great comfort food, guys. Oh. Okay, the last dish had to finish off with the Filipino national dish of pork adobo. It's pork simmered in a soy sauce and vinegar, peppercorns, bay leaves. It's got a million bunch of variations. And if you ask any Filipino who makes the best adobo, their mom does. So let's give it a try. That's just great adobo. You can get 
and that acidity from the vinegar, the soy sauce just gives that umaminess and the, the pork belly, guys. Stuff of dreams, pork belly, my all-time favorite cut of beef. That's just a great take on the classic Filipino adobo. Mm, yes. All right, we're off to a great start. Some great Filipino food from Elegance Catering Company. On to the next spot. was Tacos El Carnal. Funnily enough, we actually got these tacos for free, but they're usually three for $10. We won it from an Instagram competition over there, so um, thank you very much. We got some two pork tacos and one chicken taco. They look really good. They look like they've got some great taco shells. It's got the soft taco, obviously. I put some spicy, spicy salsa. And let's get into it. Oh no. Oh, the chicken taco is about to break. I'm gonna take a bite quickly. Mm. Oh, it's really good. You get the salsa. Oh, that, that spicy salsa is really nice. You got the coriander. And the chicken's really flavorful. Oh my goodness. Oh no! <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> The bottom has already broken, <laughs> so it's been converted into like a taco sandwich. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna taste the pork. It looks equally as delicious. It's like pulled pork, I think. Mm. Mm. That's so delicious as well. It's really smoky as well, which I really love. It's just delicious flavors. You got the herbage again with cilantro, which is perfect. Man, and the tacos as well are just are quality. These are just excellent, excellent tacos for a really decent price. I mean, we did get it for free, but three for ten either way is pretty good. Delicious. There ain't no glorious way in finishing this taco. Oh, my hand. Oh, my hands. Oh, no. All right. They give out free samples and the bread was already so delicious and salty. We got their number one bestseller which has um, cheese, basil, pesto, um, tomatoes. I'm very excited. Let's uh, I'm gonna eat it like a, oh no. I'm gonna eat it like a pizza guys. Oh that looks delectable already. Alright. That's just classic. Ah. Oh, that's just a winner of a combo. It's just like classic flavors. Tomato always goes really well with cheese and pesto. 
and the fried bread. The fried bread really is the star of it. It's so fluffy. It's so it's like it's got even like a slight crisp to it. And it's expertly salted. This is like such great street food, guys. Ah, oh, so good. I just got some classic island mango otai. It's a traditional island drink in the Pacific, which I really love. I think it comes with mango, apple, pineapple, and orange. And it's got like a, a pretty thick pulp. Let's have a sip. Oh. Some of the pulp is squirted out of the straw, but oh, that's just perfect, guys. I can feel myself lying in the beach. Blue, blue water, the gentle waves. With a mango altai on my right hand as I sip. We're in the islands, baby. This is a great refreshing drink. Oh. Uh, and when you get to the bottom of this mango altai, oh, it's, get, it's getting really hard because of all the pulp. But that, I just really appreciate how much pulp there is in this mango altai. Oh. Are you yeah. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to finish this mango otai with all the resistance that the pulp at the bottom provides. Wonderful drink. All right, random stop. My dad just got some massive pork buns. Um, let's let let's, let's let's not let's be real here, guys. Uh, the filling to bun ratio is not the greatest, but let's let's give it a bite anyway. Oh. This one is excused because it's really good. Mm. All right, I see why the ratio is why it is because the bun is actually really fluffy and not dry and bready at all. And that filling, it's just, it's just got that nice sticky, porky, umami soy flavor going on. It's just a classic pork bun, classic street food. I love it. See, look at this, guys. That is all pulp. All pulp at the bottom. I got some spillage, guys, <laughs> but it's okay. What is a little bit of juice on one pan? <laughs> okay, so we got some dessert that we're gonna take back home, so we will see you back at home for dessert. We got some cheesecakes from Dessert Queen. You're a dessert queen. <laughs> Shut up. You so precious when you smile. All right, so we made it back home and let's get into tasting these desserts. I was gonna tell Yami to taste these desserts, but she developed a stomach cramp overnight, so she's definitely not in the best position to be tasting these delectable, moorish looking cheesecakes from Dessert Queen. So we got raspberry and white chocolate. I'm not sure if that's gonna focus, but it looks really nice and red. It's got the, uh, the, the white chocolate sprinkles on top and a really red, red top there and the Oreo cheesecake. It's got, it's got an Oreo cheese. It, that's got, I mean, it's got an Oreo piece at the top. It's got the Oreo crumble at the bottom. It looks very nice. Ooh, which one should I start with? Both of them look quite good. Oh, I'll just start with the Oreo one first. So let's get into it. Ooh, oh, mmm. That looks quite nice. All right, first bite. Ooh. Oh my, that is so thick. Mmm, that's quite nice. Oh, this orange cheese is so nice. It's like so velvety and smooth. Like, it's got the slightest hint of chocolateiness, but it's also got that nice cream cheesiness that we all know and love in an unbaked cheesecake. The the cookie Oreo crumble at the bottom is very nice. Man, this is this is just a very Moorish and delicious. Cheesecake, mm, delicious. So we're gonna dig into the second flavor. Um, I got a new spoon just to avoid that cross-contamination. So let's get into it. As with the other one, it's very uh, thick. Oh, that looks quite nice. A bite of that raspberry white chocolate. Oh, mm, oh yeah. That's really good as well. Again, the white, the 
And cheesecake is so thick and velvety and smooth. It's so nice. I really appreciate how the, the raspberry top just provides that counteracting acidity and sourness. This kind of balance this cheesecake a bit more than the Oreo one. The white chocolate sprinkles give those bursts of white chocolate flavor. And so overall, this is a really nice cheesecake. All right, the cheesecakes are done and that caps off our Pakoranga Night Market mini adventure. I mean, night markets are just my happy place, guys. Just the atmosphere, the smoky aromas, just wafting through the parking lot being trapped like a, like a gas chamber of food aromas, if you will. But just the sheer diversity of foods that you can get at a night market, cheap prices, incredible portions and one of the, the good things about Auckland night markets as well they they operate all around seven days a week different night markets operate on different days of the week the Pakorama one operates on Saturday nights so just keep a lookout on that and anyway I hope you guys enjoyed another one of our food and travel videos here in Auckland and see you guys on the next one